Electric vehicles are a hot topic in today's automotive scene. And we know that with more and more manufacturers jumping aboard the bandwagon. Today, we're at the launch of the third global EVRT in the region, an electric vehicle road trip that will see us cover 2,000 kilometers across UAE and Oman in an electric car. During the course of the week, we'll be producing four videos answering questions that you've asked us, such as, are EVs a practical choice? What is the cost involved in running an EV? And what are the benefits of purchasing an EV? So without further ado, let's begin. This year, for instance, we launched the first ever electric vehicle survey in order to understand the car buyer thoughts behind the electric research phase. Results are showing that more than 44% of car buyers are willing to buy an electric vehicle in the next two years. By putting them behind the steering wheel, the way we are here doing it today, is the best action we can take towards building a sustainable future. Now, if you think EVs are this new concept that have just sprung up in the past 10 years or so, then let me start by saying that isn't the case. The first EV was built somewhere around 1888, but because of its high cost, short range and low speed, the internal combustion engine took over. Today, EVs are back stronger than ever. And so let's take a look at the options you have when purchasing an EV in today's market space. In the UAE and the wider GCC, choices are limited, very limited. In fact, there's just four cars to choose from, which in alphabetical order are the Chevrolet Bolt, the Renault Zoe, the Tesla Model S, and the Tesla Model X. Let's go and take a closer look. Developed and manufactured in partnership with LG, the Chevrolet Bolt is the fourth EV in the brand's lineup, but the first to be sold and introduced in the region. Armed with a 60 kilowatt battery pack, it produces the equivalent of 204 horsepower and can deliver up to 500 kilometers in a single charge. At a time when Teslas ruled the market, the Renault Zoe was the first affordable EV out there. Its 41 kilowatt battery pack is the smallest on offer, which is directly proportional to its range, limiting it to just 300 kilometers per charge. The electric car for driving enthusiasts, the Tesla Model S with its 100 kilowatt battery pack has put quite a few petrol powered cars to shame. Accelerating from a standstill to 100 km per hour in just 2.5 seconds, it's built quite the fan following. Claimed to be the fastest and the most capable SUV in history, the Tesla Model X offers seating for seven and space for their belongings too. Its highlights include the capability to accelerate to 100 km per hour in just 3.1 seconds. Now there are other EVs that you might have seen videos of online or read articles about such as the Audi e-tron, the Mercedes-Benz EQC, the Nissan Leaf or the Jaguar I-Pace. But the reason I didn't bring them up was because they aren't yet available for sale in our region. When talking about the benefits of purchasing an electric vehicle, it's important to highlight that there are fundamental differences between electric vehicles and petrol powered cars. For starters, EVs don't have components such as an engine, a radiator and an exhaust pipe, meaning they're assumed to be cheaper to run and maintain. Secondly, because there's no harmful emissions leaving the exhaust pipe, they're supposed to be better for the environment. Thirdly, because there's no engine, they're a lot quieter and that can be perceived as being more luxurious. And lastly, if you stay in Dubai, then there's free charging until the end of 2019 and dedicated spaces in certain malls and around the city. Now that I've highlighted the options when purchasing electric vehicles in the current market space and the benefits of doing so, stay tuned for the next video in which I'll be highlighting the costs involved in running an EV against a petrol powered car. Thanks for watching.